Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, All Things Taylor, just in time for a brand new Taylor Hendricks vlog update. So as I promised you guys a while back before my injury, um, I told you all I would be doing more vlogs, kind of letting you guys have a little bit of an insight into All Things Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and all the really interesting stuff that's going on and not so interesting and struggles and just being transparent and free with your authenticity, which I always say to do. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Today was a hit and a miss. Um, and I'm actually pretty okay with it, to be honest with you. So first thing, I will start off with the good because, you know, hey, why not? Compliment sandwich, right? Uh, first thing was today was a huge, uh, well, not huge, a small, very cool, um, Ah, victory, uh, so to speak. Uh, today was the first day that I was able to use my dominant hand to brush my teeth and hold like the hold the toothbrush properly. Uh, you know, since March when my injury happened, I have actually I was actually using my left hand and it was like so awkward because I'm not left-handed. So today was the first day that I was able to brush my teeth with my with my proper hand and stuff, and I was so excited. And I'm also able to for the most part, give a thumbs up now. It's, it's, it's getting there. <laughs> it's not able to come like straight up, but it's getting there. Yay. <laughs> and all my girls out here uh, watching my YouTube channel, another huge victory for me was this, I woke up like this hair. <laughs> you know, I haven't really had like pretty hair since my injury because I'm not, you know, really able to use this hand. Um, as you guys can see, like, uh, <laughs> my hand is still, you know, crooked and we're working on it. Um, I can do this now with my ring finger, although it's, it, it, it's shaking uh, because my hand is very high, Sally. This is my puppy, Sally, Sally Sausage, AKA Sally Short Legs. Um, and so little victories, <laughs> it's all about the little victories, you know, it kind of, you have to keep positive. So, uh, the bad, since we're going to do the good and the bad, um, was that I recently found out that I have a post-op infection that's probably been there, uh, since my surgery about eight weeks, eight or nine weeks ago. So that really, really sucks. I didn't know. Um, which is kind of a minor setback, but I'm staying positive. Uh, so one of three things is going to happen. We're going to try a couple more days of a home remedy uh, for my finger. Um, if that doesn't work, then I have to do a round of antibiotics. And then if that doesn't work, they're going to have to like rip my nail out. And I'm not making that face because I'm chicken. <laughs> uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of random injuries in wrestling that were like, Ooh, ooh, honey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why I'm making that face is because I know exactly what that feels like. Um, I had one of my nails ripped out by accident when I was a kid. And then I had my nail ripped out twice in wrestling. And one of them, the last time it happened, I was wrestling Giselle Shaw and Lucha Patron. Gosh, she is so crazy talented. I hope you guys really get to see that all that she is capable of when she like continues to grow um, as a performer and her confidence in herself and stuff like, that girl is going to be unstoppable when she, when she finds her groove, man, I'm telling you. But uh, we had this slap spot in our match and it, it tore my, my, my fake nail off and the fake nail took my real nail off and like blood was like <laughs> splooshing everywhere. And I remember I was kind of like a tweener heel and I used the blood after I won and I'm walking back. There was this kid in the crowd that I could see was kind of like, like couldn't really quite tell what to make of me and then I like got in his face and I wiped the blood all over my face and I scared the living daylights out of him it was great <laughs> it was awesome that was a show he'll never forget uh his family was such a great sport about it it was so funny I gave them an autograph later uh <laughs> it was so funny it was so great but I know how painful and how much that sucks so I'm like oh I really don't want that to happen I've been doing so great with PT um I still can't put my wrist all the way back like this like so far that's all I got. <laughs> you can tell it's like swollen because I actually wrote the notes for my podcast today all with my dominant hand and it's like really weak now. <laughs> and they look so bad. It looks like medical chicken scratch. Um... <laughs> so like I said, you got to take the good with the bad. And I think this is a, a struggle that a lot of professional athletes deal with. And I, I mean, the average person that's not an athlete has to deal with these too because we take things for granted that we don't realize. You know, who would have thought that brushing your teeth is difficult, you know, or tying your shoes or, <laughs> you know, 
just all kinds of random things that we don't think about because we just do them without thought. And then when something happens and then all of a sudden we have to struggle to do them, it gives you a kind of a different appreciation. And when you are a professional athlete and you can't do your profession, it does take a toll mentally. And that's why staying positive and finding small milestones and small victories is so important because you can either get better uh, bitter or better and sometimes you can use that bitterness to make you better and that's one of my personal things that I have done is some of my most creative and positive things have come out of like bitter or bad experiences and I figured out a way to turn it into a positive um, and so that's what I've been trying to do with this is you know being happy that I could brush my, my teeth uh, without having to use my left hand um, being able to do this makeup today with my right hand I was like oh my gosh like are you serious like I was so I was so stoked about it uh, you know just small little victories until you get back to 100%. Um, and I do want to thank you guys for being so much a part of that process. You guys have been like the OGs with, you know, dishing out the positivity on here while I've been trying to get back to, you know, my full blown, you know, Taylor Hendrick self and, and everything like that. And it's definitely been a journey, uh, really, really long journey. <laughs> um, I still can't really feel this so at all so this is kind of like an ongoing thing um i still can't like close my fingers i have to like do that myself and i can't like go like that with my fingers really like that's all i can get but i'm starting to be able to make a fist it's almost there <laughs> it's like uh, you see like the pinky keeps like coming up and stuff so yeah, we still get a while to go, but the fact that I was able to like brush my teeth and do my makeup and brush my hair today and write some notes all with my hand, uh, they're really, really bad looking notes, but they're there. <laughs> so it is the little things that, you know, it's the little things that add up to big, great, amazing things. And sometimes when you're going through struggles like these, you have to be mindful and be positive, positive about your behavior, positive about your goals, positive about your mind, positive with your words, positive with your actions and your values and everything else, because those ultimately get you, you know, to better and better versions of yourself and more humble and grateful and powerful uh, versions of yourself. And I think we all deserve those kinds of moments. You know, it, it's the, it's the down times that show you how, how capable you truly are of getting up to the big highs, you know, the, the, the best views and the best versions of yourself every single day. All right, everybody, this is the latest and greatest episode <laughs> of my Taylor Hendricks vlog. Uh, stay tuned on my channel. I have a bunch of videos coming your way, including a new Q&A Wednesday, um, more stuff about stuff happening on Hulu, Disney Plus, and so much more. Thank you, guys. Say bye, Sally.